light, do you understand your role now? You must lift the shackles that bind people's hearts and save their souls. The more souls you save, the more Aradia you can harvest. That is crucial because it means buying the world more time. Color me surprised. Thank you. I hope you can make. Luxarian, haven't you? There ain't no customers, you know, just for you. Appreciate it.
Move up if you can. You got in my way. What will you have? of the ruins, when suddenly, a hazy light appears, glaring balefully. Ooh, so scary. Some claim it's just the light of an ancient machine, but they're wrong.
I took the liberty of checking the Order's records. Vanille and Fang will go for their crystal stasis about... Thank <laughs> you. 
believe that up until 13 years ago, Vanille and I were stuck in that crystal pillar. It was a long sleep. Well, hell, it's been hundreds of years since the days we fought together as a sleep. And before we met, I was... Technically, I think that makes me the oldest hag on the planet. Not that I'll ever act my age. Wouldn't be much fun. You see strange devices all over the ruins. Nothing we've done has ever made them work, but why don't you try your savior magic?
Unstoppable. your most valuable treasure. I will fight evil.
Fang, you got this? destination. There's an unbelievable source of energy radiating from behind that door. Yeah, you don't have to tell me twice. I can feel it from here. You think it's the power of the clavis? It seems likely. The reason that you can feel anything light is because the clavis reacts to the savior. So, it wants me to come in and say hi. I get it. But this door doesn't seem to agree. It's stuck shut. Yes. It's protected by a particularly nasty seal. My analyses suggest that the key to undoing this seal is hidden in the murals. There are three murals within this ruin which describe the true story of the gods. Only one who has seen them with their own eyes and has understood the truth of the gods will be able to pass through that great gate, the sacred gate, to reach the Holy Clavis. Three murals, huh? Somehow, I don't think a little art appreciation will be all I need to get that clavis. Well, the good news is, I know where the murals are. To see them all, you'll have to visit three galleries that are located elsewhere in the ruins. Hmm. Well, of course they are. in your surroundings? That crest marks another seal, but I think you'll be able to break it with your powers. And the crux, of course. Alright. You can't break the seal with brute force. Not surprising. I'd say this is a shortcut out of the ruins. Good to know if you need to get back back to the desert fast. Since you went to the trouble of unsealing the door, why don't you follow the path and see exactly where it leads?
We've been banging our heads against these seals for years, and you just pop them right open. I guess I was right about I getting you on my side. I still map out all the ruins. I hope you'll get further in next time so we can get a better picture. A memento of my lost wife. It's a sad tale about his wife, but wasting away here like this, it's no kind of life. treasure. You did it, rookie. With this shortcut open to us, exploring the ruins will be loads easier. Time to get down and dirty. Man, it's been a while. Let's explore the heck out of those ruins. I've been surveying the desert all these long years. But I have been completely flummoxed by those cursed tablets.
this. It looks like someone who might be of some use has finally shown up. I was beginning to think that the world might end before that would happen. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance, stranger. I am an exploratory rover bot called Bhakti. What is this? An AI? Why are you here? Oh, there are so many things I could tell you, and I would love to, but I'm afraid I'm most dreadfully low on fuel. And so I must ask you to consider my most unworthy plea before any explanations can be given. I think I know what you're gonna say. Yes, I could tell you are intelligent. It is just as you suspect. I hope that you might assist me in procuring fuel. Of the robot variety. Do you expect me to head out into this huge desert and hope I'll strike oil? Oil? I am a precision instrument. No, I need specific fuel from these locations. Near the Sundry Shop. In the Bandit Settlement. Beside the Adamantis Skeleton. Somewhere at the base of that lofty and once great lighthouse. Those are the only locations I have detected so far. However, there may be others yet that I am unaware of. I can have a look. How much do you need? Ah, a worthy question. I think about three inertia worth should get me by long enough. I am depending on your assistance. I need that fuel to save my comrades as soon as I possibly can. There are more of you? Yes, and I expect my comrades are most eagerly awaiting me. And now you should feel an emotional responsibility to help me, should you not? I'm so glad that we could bond like this. That is some programming you have. It seems that robots like that Bhakti were used by the bandits to help map out the room. Thank you very much. Ah. I feel so lubricated once again, though, hmm, my bearings do creak quite a bit after so long without servicing. But I suppose I am just a robot. A few creaks are only natural. I do envy you humans, who do not need regular maintenance. Maintenance? No. But we do get hurt, and then we need rest and care if we want to get better. Yes. But the humans these days do not age nor die, compared to a robot that will never get better if it breaks down. Yours is a life of infinite chances. Well, now you have a chance of your own. So what about those friends of yours who need saving? They are just this way. Follow me. I'm surprised that any of them to examine this wall here. It just needs one more push to get through. It certainly looked a day. Everyone, I do apologize for your long wait. You must have been quite troubled by being trapped in here for such a long time. Do not worry. You are free now to leave. There does not appear to be a response. Do you suppose they are sleeping? Are your friends out of fuel, too? If they're like you, then they'll just need their tanks filled to be up and running again. I'm afraid they would have little use for such fuel. They are humans, after all. What did you say? I don't think those kinds of bots came with conversational functions. I guess someone must have tinkered with it. We've been trapped for some time now. There's no food or water left. It looks like this is the end for us at last. If you're reading this, I hope you'll respect the wishes of the dead. Take our remains and give us a decent burial. Oh, and one other thing. I imagine you found a robot on the other side of this wall. If it stopped working, please bury it together with us. 
If it's still moving, though, please fix it up and find it a new home. We may look like fools for worrying about an old robot in our last moments, but Bhakti is not just a robot. He has always been our greatest ally, companion, and friend. We've been trapped for some time now. My goodness! Everyone looks quite different than I seem to recall. Why have you become so thin? Did the many long years spent in this dry desert air absorb the moisture from your bodies? These people... My friends, they do not seem to be able to start up. If they have broken down, I will need to obtain new parts and repair them. Bhakti, you can't repair a human like that. They're just... gone. When humans die, they never wake up again. Never start up again? But we are finally reunited after so long. I rationed my fuel so carefully all in an effort to witness the end of the world together with them, my dear friends. I had no idea that they needed constant refueling. They must have thought that I had abandoned them here. I don't think they did. They would have known that you were doing everything you could to save them. I'm sure they were grateful for that. I thank you. Humans are a kind species. I truly did love these human companions of mine. Farewell, my friends. Bhakti, you were the best friend these people could have hoped for. The light of these souls. They're the proof of how grateful your friends were. been surveying the desert. It always is, right? Another battle. Your soul is my contact. I don't want to sound like I'm complaining, but I don't see any kind of mural around here. What's the story? How disappointing. 
This is certainly the spot, but it seems that you'll have to activate the mural before we can view it. The device is missing a key component. You need certain ancient artifacts, known as tablets, if you found them. We already have. You mean the ones from the shrines, right? We picked those up already. Oh yeah, that's right. And so this is where they were meant to be used. Saved us some trouble. There are three shrines of the tablets, right? We haven't raided all of them yet, so let's get back out there, complete our collection, and be done with it. All right then, impress me. After all this, these murals better blow me away. Or else I'm gonna have some words for you. We used to have this old rhyme, you know. Come, pity poor Etro, she was left all alone. Her blood pouring forth in chaos to atone. Queen of nothing, goddess of death, so let her be known. And then Lindsay and his wisdom used the blood that flowed from Etro to give birth to the first humans. Yeah, so we could do his dirty work. Among my people, Lindsay was known as a trickster, never to be trusted. Though, in the end, even our own god was no different. Pulse used us and threw us away all the same. Yeah, I think we've all learned not to trust the gods. At least it gave me the chance to meet you all. But then, after hundreds more years in Crystal, we wake up again. And for what? So Vanille can go mad listening to the cries of the dead? The gods want to make us pawns. But Vanille and me, we're done playing their games. It needs to stop. Vanille and Fang. They once supported Cocoon in their crystal sleep, frozen forever in time. But why did they awake now, at the end of everything? What purpose could God have in doing such a thing? What sort of plan does he have up his sleeve? That's a piece of a crux, right? What is this? All we get is some rubbish. Really? It's no rubbish. It's the crux to the sacred gate, or at least one piece of it. All you have to do is gather all the pieces and put them together. So, two more to go, right? Three seems to be our favorite number. Three murals, three shrines, and now three crux pieces. There are three murals, so you'll need to find three tablets to see them all. who was rumored to have undone the seal at last, then perhaps you'll also solve the mystery of the tablets. In the old records, they speak of three shrines of the tablet in the desert. From the name, we can only assume that the tablets lie within, but we cannot prove it. None has made it inside. The entrances are in the dry floodlands, Adamus' sands, and the grave of the Colossi. Look to the red cactar. It will show the way.
promised we weren't just... Sleeping away our days in the ship. Hardly. We could feel what was going on in the world. Let's not get too co- Okay. We saw you disappear. We also saw your sister head out on her journey. Eventually, we even got to see the world fall apart. Imagine how we felt while we just watched as the world slowly crumbled apart, unable to do a damn thing. Fang, get my back! Evil has a price!
little thief. Let's dance. I will fight evil. You made it all the way here, did ya?
got in my way. evil.
It's your most valuable treasure. holding up half the world when we were in that room. Not like it's something I can brag about, though. It wasn't heroic at all. It was more like atonement for all we'd done wrong before. No, not even that. There's no amount of atonement that will ever make right all the deaths we caused, all the lives that were destroyed. I know Vanille worries about that, too. She wants to make up for it, and she believes with all her heart that she can. But I... Fang, you got this? <laughs> I will fight evil. Change course. You're down. Time. 
it up. Time to mix it up. Done is done, but she won't accept that. You've made it pretty far in, haven't you? You're gonna keep going? Good luck! sense that you have overcome great trials in your life. Terrible trials. I'll take that as a compliment. I'm sorry. My intentions are pure. It's just that I see you must be a formidable warrior, and I am in need of one such. Hmm. Tell me about it. My name is Nolan. I have spent the last few centuries trying to prove a certain theory. There is said to be a beast, a beast with frightful power beyond anything before seen. And I have discovered the secret behind it. I am quite certain now. Its existence is linked to the ending of this world. Fascinating, don't you think? And you want me to fight it, is that it? Indeed. You are as intelligent as I thought. This is my theory. When the balance is tipped, and this world is finally swallowed by the chaos, that is when the beast will attain its true physical form, inspiring fear and despair in all who see it. A monster that only appears when the world ends. Indeed. In the past few days, I've seen a dramatic change in the data. According to my calculations, which are based on my hypothesis, the monster may have already manifested. You have proof it even exists? I know that it has appeared at least once before in this world. I've found records that suggest it appeared 500 years ago. The day that time stopped and the world was broken. The wave of terror as all humanity realized their impending doom surely summoned the beast. So what happened after it appeared? It only achieved physical form for a very brief time. Then it disappeared back to wherever it came from. Because the world didn't end back then? That is my theory. I don't imagine we will be so lucky this time around. All indications are that the world is truly ending this time. The data is clear on that. I want you to prove that my theory is correct. Yes, I want you to find the beast and defeat it for me. Why worry about one monster, now of all times? There is a corollary to my theory. I believe that this beast comes from outside of this broken dimension. Unlike those of us living here, its body has not been affected by the warping of our time. There is something I wish to test, and I will need a sample of its flesh to do so. So what do you say? Will you hunt down the extra-dimensional beast for the sake of science? Enemy that is not of this world. Right. I think I can handle that. Oh. So you will help me? I might as well. I'll probably end up having to fight it anyway. 
I am confident that you will be able to hunt down the beast. Don't forget to collect my samples. Got it. Here is all the research data. Yeah, I'll... There is not much time left until...
treasure. Let's make a show of it. Go to hell. You're down. What's your most valuable treasure? Lightning, you feeling this? The air's different in here. I think we're close. We have to be. This heavy, cold atmosphere. It's got to be the power of the planet. Let's see the second mural. I paid for this show, and I want to get my money's worth. Hey, Lightning. What do you make of this, then? It's the story of the gods. Or rather, the story of us. It shows how humanity was born from blood spilled by the goddess Etro. But we weren't made to live forever like this. We were put on the world to serve the gods, do their bidding, and then die. But then the chaos broke through and changed the rules. Everything went pear-shaped and suddenly it's like dying became an option. We became immortal, or well, that's how it felt at first. You stopped aging the moment the chaos came, but misfortune and disease could still kill you. And we don't multiply and fill the land anymore. No one's been born in centuries. You know, I always thought that death wasn't the end of us. Like our souls wouldn't disappear with our last breaths. They'd never really die. They'd come back. That's why I was never afraid to die for something I believed in. But now, I don't know. Dying feels like the end of the line. Like there's no hope of being reborn. Our souls will just get lost in the chaos forever. No second chances. I guess that's what Vanille wants to put a stop to. She figures this is her chance to save those lost souls.
some gear or something moved. It looks to me like another sealed path has been opened. Let's go ahead and check it out. The souls of the dead, crying out in their despair. No one else can see or hear them, so it's hard to appreciate what that would feel like. Do you think that Vanille is hearing the wishes of the dead? Is she hearing all of their regrets and desires? We got the second. You don't have to tell me. There are three murals, so you'll need to find three tablets. is the greatest
All right! I'm claiming this spot is mine to dig! Shortcut out of the ruins. Good to know if you need to get. Since you went to the trouble of unsealing the door, why don't you follow the. I came here about a hundred years ago, and back then they were saying that the ruins were picked bare. Fancy meeting you again. Villages is that the white chocobo has been spotted. Could this have anything to do with the savior?
I always dreamed of becoming a bandit. Now I wonder why I ever waited so long. The Holy Clavis should be on the other side of that door. This door looks about as stubborn as some folks I know. I don't think we'll be breaking it down. Let's get the pieces we need to complete that crux. We'll bust it open that way. Sound good to you? in order to see the murals. You'll have to leave the ruins and head back into the desert to find the rest of the shrines. Ready to descend into the dark of the labyrinth? The desert may be nice at night, but the ruins are not. Victory. 
It's your funeral. The show is over. Would you like to have this is a branch of you do note he is the preferred merchant of the great Visit the main door.
The light of your soul is mine.
to have. Visit the main store. We can't lose! Thanks for waiting. Another tablet in the bag. Now we can see those murals. That's what the man says. Let's head back to the ruins.
any difference.
Is this the arithmometer? It doesn't seem to be working. That must be it. The thing Ramon was looking for. His last memento of his wife. It's broken, but it wouldn't hurt to take it back to him. The light of your soul is mine.
beloved. Your part is over. Let's have some fun! You want to live? Thank you. There's not much here, is there? I have to be honest. Your funeral! Fang, get my back.
careful, Light. You were able to escape for now, but it lost you an hour of the world's time. your most valuable treasure. Things I regret goes for. It's a sad tale about his wife. This it is my wife's. I'd know it anywhere. The arithmometer that she so loved. You've got your wife's memento back, so now you can leave the desert anytime you want. Isn't that right? I'm like I've got any place else to go. Anyway, it would have been better if you just never found it. I want to say goodbye to the desert where my wife died. But I don't want to leave the desert where she lived. Don't you see? <laughs> now what am I supposed to do? That's up to you. And if you can't figure it out yourself, well... Then why don't you just think about what your wife would have wanted for you? What Monica would have wanted? Is she always wanted me to make it out here as a merchant. Me and my shop. She wanted to help me achieve my dream of striking it rich. I guess you have your answer. If you're going back into business, how about I be your first customer? Yeah. I'd like that. After all, I owe you. You brought me back. You brought our dream back to life. Last mural, huh? And this'll give us the key we need to open the sacred gate. And we can finally reach the clevis. Huh? <gasps> if it isn't the man himself, the Order's idol, Benevelza, god of light. Death defiles the soul. Let salvation purify you. So the dead are unclean, is that what they think? And when Vanille performs the soul song, those bastards are going to make everything neat and tidy again. What do you mean? Don't you know? It's the ceremony that the Order's got planned. It's the reason they want the Holy Clevis. So Vanille can do their dirty work. Thing is, she's the only one who can hear the dead. And the Clavis can draw the souls of the dead. Isn't that how it goes? So, what does the ceremony do? 
more than just summon the dead, I take it? If you believe the Order, it's all putting the dead to rest and providing a salve for their tortured souls. That was enough for Vanille. Hook, line, and sinker. She says that she has to go through with the ceremony. She wants to atone for the past. So it's what Vanille wants, this ceremony. But even knowing that, you have no intention of helping the Order? <laughs> Not in this lifetime. song to be performed, a rite that they claim will purify the souls of the dead. If it might... Right, this should complete the crux. Let's try it on the sacred gate. Come on, the clevis waits. The completed crux should open the sacred gate. You've almost made it to the holy clavis itself. But be careful. The Order has mobilized its seculars. They may be on your heels.
they want the clavis as much as you do. If we get this open, we'll be face to face with the Clavis at last. And who knows what else? I wouldn't be letting your guard down just yet. <laughs> like I need reminding. How long do you think I've been out here in the desert? I'm picking up a huge energy source from within the sacred gate. It's just like Fang said, the Clavis lies before you. It may have further protection though. Be careful out there, Light. We finally made it. Yeah, we've gone and done it. No way to go but forward now. What's wrong? Nothing. Let's do this. So that's the Holy Clavis, the magic box that'll bring together all the souls of the dead. <sighs> Damn, can you feel that? It's like some kind of force pushing down on my chest. There's no question. That artifact is definitely emitting powerful energy. No human could have made this. Not without divine help. Either that or the gods themselves made it. Hope, fill us in. What's happening? It's the Seculars! They're close, and they're armed. I'm sorry, they must have been hiding in the chaos. It's fine, forget about it. Fang, it looks like Seculars have already- Sorry about this, Vanille! Fang! <clears throat> what are you doing? <clears throat> this is what you've been looking for! I'm not letting anyone else have it. If Vanille uses this damn thing, she'll die. What do you mean? Damn this thing! It's a bloody curse! Yeah, purify the dead, put them to their eternal rest. All it'll take is the life of a saint. Vanille is dead set on going through with it. She'll martyr herself to the past and then... <gasps> you bastards want to take it from me? <gasps> no! You have done an admirable job. The Sacred One will doubtless be pleased. Allow us to thank you on her behalf. Mm. Get the Holy Clavis! You call her the Sacred One. But you're the ones who want her to die! That ceremony is not gonna happen! Hear this, even. You insult the order of salvation, and in doing so, you blaspheme our almighty God! God's judgment be upon you. May you repent with your death! Look at the hands on the planet over my dead body. So, Light, you want to lend me a hand? <sighs> You're asking now? Let's do it, Fang! Don't get in my way.
They took the clavis. Bastards! Won't open. They must have sealed it. Damn it! We're not getting through that way. The sooner you accept it, the better. What's the deal with the clavis? What does it really do? Doesn't it ease the dead's suffering? Oh, it eases it all right. See, they get Vanille to summon the souls from out of the chaos with the clevis. Then destroy them. No more soul, no more suffering. They're just gonna destroy them all? Does Vanille understand what she's doing? She knows it. Just like she knows it'll kill her. And she just goes on saying she's gotta do it. She says it's the only way to stop the cries she hears. The only way to save them. And you didn't want to let her die like that. So you tried to get the clavis yourself. Yeah. That was the plan. I was looking for it, all right. But not to give it to her. To keep it from her. I knew what would happen if the Order got it. Vanille would kill herself. For a lie! So I joined up the bandits here, and watched over the ruins. And as long as no one found it, I could leave well enough alone. Now you see why I came along with you? I had to make sure that the Savior wouldn't hand the clavis over to the Order. I didn't even trust an old friend like you. That's low. Huh? You even doubted your old pal Lightning, spying on her like she was gonna stab you in the back. But I guess it's not so different from the way I spied on you. I had to wait forever to tip those guys off. You? You're the one who led the Secutors to us? Exactly. And without hope even noticing a thing. Now the Order has their little clavis and they're beating a trail back to Luxarian. I can't wait to see that ceremony, can you? All those useless souls purified forever in return for Vanille's life. Even the soul that was one Sarah wiped away like it never existed. When does the ceremony take place? It'll happen on the last day of the world. When the final bells start to toll across the land, Vanille will face the clavis and begin the soul song. <sighs> Fang, Vanille is going to die. You never did mince words. And I can't save her. So, what's your point? I save souls by granting them what they wish for. If Vanille wishes for death with all her heart, then I have to let her have it. I have no choice. You're saying you'd let her die? Yes, if she doesn't change her mind. I can't do it for her. You are the only one who knows how she feels. The only one who can save her from her darkness. You always have been. Hmm. All right, all right. I get it. I get it, Vanille. You hear me? We're in this together, until the very end. about the soul song, the real truth of it, back when I was with the Order in Luxurian. They wanted us to think it was this great thing, gonna save the dead. But then I learned that it would kill Vanille. Why didn't you try to run away together? I wanted to. Believe me, I tried reason, guilt, even brute force. But Vanille, well, she wouldn't give an inch. She said she was going to do it, whether it killed her or not. 
This is still about her trying to atone for the past. Uh, even the power she has to hear the dead. She thinks it's God trying to punish her. It's been real, Lightning. But now, it's time to go our separate ways. Huh. <laughs> Got it. Hey, next time I'm in the desert... You won't see me. The gang's officially disbanded. I've got somewhere else I need to be. Sounds like we have a date in Luxarian. Good luck, Fang. See you at the end of the world. for a partner. Keep up if you can. I will fight evil. Let's dance.
lesser swords. to raise the curtains.
The show is over. It appears only.
stage. Light. You were able to escape for now, but it lost you an hour of the world's time. Time to raise the curtains.
the opponent. Treasure.
your most valuable treasure. It's just a fight. I will fight evil. Keep going. Treasure. Let's make a show of it. stage.
if you want to live. Thank you. <laughs> I'm a splendid. I thought I'd go visit all my favorite old places before the world ends, so I sold my house. I'm using the money to travel the world now. This is where you... Persistent. Back for more, I take it? Here's some money. Take this and show me what you can do, but don't cry for me. I want you to shed tears for yourself. What? Um, that's a first. No one's ever asked for that before. <laughs> Why do you want me to do that? Frankly, because I think you need it. Don't you think you do too? I don't know. Luca, you haven't cried for yourself in centuries. You say you're fine and that there's nothing wrong, but that's not true. Why not? Why would I lie? I believe that your tears help mend people's broken hearts, hearts that have forgotten how to feel, but every time you help someone, part of your own heart dies a little. What? When you talked about the death of your acting coach, you weren't sad, you were smiling. It's as if you don't feel anything anymore. You don't know what it's like to cry for real anymore, do you? Just these fake tears in exchange for a little money. What's become of your emotions? I still have them, really. I can cry for real. All I have to do is think of the past. Okay, then show me. <sighs> Working. That's weird. It's usually so easy. Huh. Why? Time has taken everything from you, including a part of yourself. You've forgotten how you used to feel back then. Stop it! Don't say that! That's not true at all! I remember everything! I remembered I loved him! And to this day, I still do! <laughs> Luca, I know. It's okay. No, it's not. If I can't cry, that means my heart is gone. It means that it's been destroyed. I don't want to believe that. I won't. <laughs> I knew you had it inside you. And you proved it. I, I'm crying. These, these tears, they're, they're real. <laughs> I can tell. They look pretty real from here, too. I'm sorry if what I said was harsh, but... It was for your own sake. Thank goodness. My heart is okay. It's not broken. Wait. This wasn't your plan all along, was it? To help me realize the past that I'd forgotten? To save me from losing myself? I just wanted to get my money's worth in tears. After all, I've donated more than enough. Besides, I couldn't just sit back and watch you waste away trying to help others. Someone had to help you. I don't know what to say. I can't believe that anyone cared enough to help someone they hardly know. Thank you for opening my eyes. 
I'm going to stop selling my tears. I'm done. Good. It's okay to cry because you care about someone, but crying because people pay you to isn't what I want to do anymore. From now on, I'm going to show people my bedazzling smile instead. tried Marlin's muffins today? They're exceptional. My hat's off to you, Marlin. I'm glad to hear that. Renolf, I have something to tell you. It's about your journal. My journal? Did you find that old thing? I did. I have it with me now, in fact. That's fantastic! Don't get too excited. You don't remember what's written in it for good reason. You made yourself forget. And some things are better left forgotten. Are you ready to accept the reality of your past? If not, please don't read it. What do you mean, the reality of my past? I'd like to know. I may regret my decision, but... Yes, I'd like to read it. I'm prepared to face the truth. You're absolutely sure? Yes. All right. Here it is. The part of your past you've been missing all this time. I remember now. I had a wife and daughter, but they were taken from me. The killer was never caught, though not for a lack of trying. I pursued him with a vengeance for years, decades even. Whether out of frustration or rage, eventually it became too much for you to bear. Your mind chose to forget that tragic event so you could keep on going with your life. I can't believe I've been living a lie for so long. How could I have erased the memory of my lovely wife and my beautiful daughter? Their laughter, their love. <laughs> I'm sorry. Maybe recovering the journal, maybe it wasn't for the best. No, I'm grateful you helped me remember what happened. I needed to remember. Thank you. The truth surrounding the incident is still a mystery to this day. This can't be the way it ends. I need to know what happened to my family and why. I need closure. Truth is the only thing that will help me go on with my life. Are you sure? You don't know the things you might uncover. I'm sure. Hope, I need to find out the truth behind this. I owe it to him. He deserves it. Now that he remembers his past, he needs closure. I've been reading my journal over and over again, trying to find something I may have missed. I've come up empty so far. But that means there's a reporter out there who knows all about this case. That's true. There is a chance they may know something that can lead us in the right direction. It's not much, but let's pursue it. You want to dance with me? Now. 
This was your finale. Blessed be.
Thank you for your interest. Oh, step right. Oh, thanks a lot.
I've just come back from prayer. I must say goodbye to the city. I hope you can make... Have you been to the dazzling city of Yuznan yet? The train will issue. here on the first floor is always open to everyone. A concentrated microcosm of culinary delight? Even though the show's been canceled. You opened up shop, huh? Nice place. Now sell me those fireworks I got you. What do you think you're talking about? Whoever said I'd sell you a thing? I couldn't possibly take a single gill from you. Not even one. You're the reason I was able to achieve my dream. Take all that you can carry with you. Thanks, but you just finally got them back. Don't you worry about that. What's a grand opening without a few giveaways to liven things up? Are you sure you don't want to take one more? One more? Why don't you light that one for me right now? I'd like to see the fireworks I worked so hard to get back for you. Show me what you got. Oh, I can do that. Sit back and enjoy the show. I'll give you your own private viewing for all your help. Thank you. You saved my shop and me. A 
It's like a dream. I can actually buy Yusnan fireworks. Did you try my new nectar? Did it have any effect? Yes, it really did. Ah, oh, that is wonderful news. Except the effect wore off too quickly. It has to last longer to be really useful. A simple matter. For the purposes of the experiment, I deliberately reduced the potency. In case of side effects, you see. It will be the work of mere seconds to mix a more concentrated and potent version. I'm sorry to keep you waiting. This latest iteration I have named Miracle Nectar. Drink it to soothe your soul and restore your psyche, meaning it will free you from curses, leaving you mentally prepared to face any foe. I don't believe you. That's what you said the first version was supposed to do, but it didn't do a thing. I forget that you are a mere layperson and need things spelled out. On that occasion, I was referring to the goal of my research. Now I am presenting the results. Anyway, do try it. Oh dear, you are carrying a lot of things, aren't you? Maybe you should discard some of them. Anyway. Well? I'm looking forward to hearing all You're not much of a
your most valuable treasure. Better dance with swords. The show is over. Lightning! I've been expecting you. Glad you could make it. So you're Wedge's friend, is that right? That's right. Biggs is the name. I'm in charge of the special event that we're running here in the warehouse district. A little something we call Death Game. Sounds exciting enough. Oh, it is. Tell you what, join the event, see for yourself. Alright, I'll play your game, but on one condition. If I get through this event and win it, you'll have to do me a favor. Huh? What? what? You want more bonus money? Look, it's already a pretty generous payout, you know. Tell you what, I'll think about it. It's not money, and it might be to your advantage, too. But I'll tell you what it is after I've done the event. Alright, fine. If you're gonna hold me to promises that you won't even tell me, then I'm gonna add some conditions of my own. The rules are going to be a bit more strict. Just remember our deal. Yeah, yeah, I've got it. You get to ask a favor. But only if you can win under the new harder rules, all right? Face the Angel of Death? Thanks for 
waiting. Ready to face the Angel of Death? Ready to take the stage? 
Your soul is my partner. stage.
ready to face the Angel of Death?
with me. Oof. <laughs> 
dream. Skeletons in there. Those are the remains of other players, right? I know what this is for. People who are tired of endless life come out here for a last taste of excitement. People shouldn't die for a game, even if that's what they want. Okay, people get killed in there, but that's not what it's about. Our customers wanted thrills, see? They were looking to put the zip back in their lives, and we gave them that chance. I get it. But it's gone too far. It's not about fun or excitement. Not anymore. Uh, yeah, maybe you're right. But we crossed the line and didn't even know it. It's time to put the fun back into our events. Face the Angel of Death? What's your most valuable treasure? It's just a fleeting dream. Light's life is the grit. Deal's a deal. I've got a story. People have been alive for hundreds of years. You'd think people would go crazy with no end in sight, but most folks manage to get on with their lives as usual. Don't you think that's a little strange? It's as if they've lost something. It's like there's something missing. Years ago, one alchemist concocted a theory about it. According to him, the part of what's missing from us, from all human beings, is the soul seed we're all born from. But he wasn't happy just proposing a theory. He wanted to test it too. You know what he did? He consumed a seed. He extracted its essence, whipped it into a potion, and drank it. What do you think happened to the alchemist next? Moments later, he threw himself into the chaos, never to be seen again. Maybe once it was consumed, the soul seed transformed into some kind of poison. Or maybe he was able to retrieve the part of him that was missing, but was unable to deal with the world's reality. I guess we'll never know.
Come and get it. What's your most valuable treasure? Now. My victory was part of the act. Oh dear. I gave Olga my... It wasn't... Hello and well. Oh, you'll be back. It's not bad, are Is everything you? okay? I hear they're making a sequel to the song. How cute. Oh. Huh. Things seem wild. Short on Gil? Are you looking for someone? Huh? Oh, yes. Yes, I am. My six friends. Did you lose them somewhere in the crowd? They just disappeared and didn't even leave a feather behind. Leave a feather? Ah. These friends, are they pet birds? Pets? Absolutely not. No, we were raised together. Well, you see, the truth is, I'm really a chocobo. Uh, are you sure? Oh, yes. I was born on a farm out in the wildlands. I was named Primrose after the flower, which is yellow, just like I was. We lived together in a cozy little hutch. Wait a minute. Let me get this straight. You're saying that you're not human, but a chocobo with wings and yellow feathers. That's right. Well, I mean, I was. Back on the farm in the wildlands with my six friends. But then one day we were supposed to move to a new home in Yusnam. We boarded the cargo train bound for Yusnam, and that's when it came. The chaos, I mean. You got split up from your friends. Yes! I haven't seen hide or feather of them since. And the very worst thing of all, somehow I ended up turning into a human. So that's why you've been going to places where chocobos might gather, searching for them. I had to do something. I just have no idea where they may have gone. We promised each other we'd always be together no matter what. Right. Well, if what you say is true, it must be hard for you. I'm sorry. Could you do me a favor? If you run into my six chocobo friends, could you tell them what happened to me? I really can't tell chocobos apart, but I'll see what I can do. Now you're sure they're not around here? Oh, yes, I'm sure. They aren't all grown up like the chocobos here. We're still pretty young. A hunt for six chocobo chicks. Hope, is there any way to pinpoint them? No, not with these sensors. But I can search the city records in case anyone's reported lost chicks. Bingo, here it is. Six reports and six missing chocobo checks. Well, at least the numbers seem to match up. Please help me! I need you to find my six friends! She really seems to think that she used to be a chocobo. The question is, do you believe her? Seems like something's troubling you. What? <laughs> Are you, like, a mind reader or something? Are you a witch? How could you tell? How could you tell? I could hear you talking to yourself. Oh! You mean, I said all of that out loud? I don't like bothering people with my problems. I usually bottle it up. I guess it slipped out. Why don't you try sharing with me? It might make you feel better, and maybe I can help. You wouldn't mind? Well, as long as you keep it a secret. You're friends with the Baton Girl, right? I'm talking about the Divine Candace, of course. The thing is, I've been a huge fan of hers since way before she became as popular as she is now. Watching her twirl that baton with a big smile on her face, it fills my heart with cheer. The simple fact is, I adore her. I'm totally smitten, and I've decided to confess my love. Any day now. So, why not today? Because she might turn me down. Or even worse, think I'm a creep. Then I couldn't sit here and watch her anymore. That would be awful. But I've got to do something. I can't go on living like this. So I've come up with a plan. I'm going to give her a present. That's what guys do, right? Give presents to the girl they like? She's obviously into fashion, so I'm going to give her an adornment. You know, something trendy she'd like. Sounds like a good plan. 
What are you waiting for? Go get her the present. I, I want to. But the adornment I want is so popular that you have to be at the shop right when it opens so you can nab one before they sell out. But I always have to work then, and I can't afford to take time off. <sighs> if only I could get that present. I would totally go up to her. I'll go and buy it for you. Y you will? Thanks. If you did, I could talk to Candace. Here's the flyer from the shop. It has all the details you need. Oh, and don't forget to get it wrapped. There's a ribbon and everything. Blight, you're being unusually kind today. How's it going? The trick is to get... Are you saying I'm usually not? This is exciting! I've never had... I'm not sure what it is. There's just something about him that makes me want him to get together. In that case, the right present should do the trick. And I don't... Think he'll have to do that one. Listen to you. All of a sudden, you're an expert on love? I haven't seen this side of you before, Hope. I must know these things for a reason. Perhaps more memories that God has suppressed. Anyway, back to your quest. It looks like the adornment Temesa wants is sold by a shop in the Champion's Quarter. It sells out fast. That's one chick found. This little fella is lost? You don't say. Well, if you have to take him back to his friends, it can't be helped. I'm gonna miss him, though. My fine. the owner would turn up. He was a hungry stray, so I've been looking after him and feeding him. Oh, but he's all yours now. You've got two. Now to find the other four. Good luck.
doubts now. The light of your soul is mine. That's one chick found. Was this little one waiting on you? Because he's been here a very long time. I only know because I've been sitting here for ages as well. The fool I call my boyfriend is late again. Like that. Three down.
We've got the finest stock in town, I'd say. Come back soon. See something? Gourmet has started cooking his own This is good. Welcome to the... Thanks for dropping in. I found you. Oh, does this chocobo belong to you? My parents found her, but I don't know where. Brought her home and said they were gonna grill her with salt. So I rescued her before they could. But if you're the real owner, then you should have her. It's only right. That's four of them. Only two to go. belongs to you. In case you didn't know, he's been here for a while. Well, you're safe now. Mommy's here. <laughs> I bet you can't wait to go home. Seriously? You'll take the chocobo off my hands? What a relief. I found him stuck inside one of the luggage carts. I read every regulation, but there wasn't a single mention of chocobo chicks. But now I can report in the logbook that the lost animal was claimed by its owner. Case closed. Go on, he's all yours. Short 
Von Gilm liebt sie. I've got some good news for you. I found all of your missing friends. You you have? And all six of them? They're safe and sound? Thank you. What a kind human you are. Look, can you see? My friends are saying thank you as well. Uh, you're welcome. When the first chaos swept us away, I, I didn't know what to do. So I prayed. I prayed for someone to help me, and that I wouldn't be taken away from my friends. Don't lose them again. Oh, I won't. I can promise you that. We're never gonna let that happen again. And now it's time for me to return to my normal form. Thank you, Savior.
You disgust me. I get my concoction worked out quite well.
going to change course. days when he ruled the streets and urged people to rise up, well, that time is long gone now. will emerge when night falls. You, uh... uh -huh. The seeds you're collecting? They're no ordinary seeds. Those little critters...
possible. Don't forget Here is there. I have to be honest. What a fool I just for you. Appreciate it. Thanks to you, I finally got a role to play here in the gang. A little sandbird told me what you've been up to. You've been busy, haven't you? But is it true? Is old Ramon open for business again? All I did was help him get back onto his feet. Helping him at all is more than enough. The world's a pretty hard place to live in these days. You don't see a lot of people helping each other out. <sighs> If there were more good eggs like you around, maybe this place wouldn't have ended up the ghost town that it is. Someone's got to be the first to start. Why not you? What? Because I'm a ruthless, greedy salesman. I don't do a thing if there's no profit in it. Are you sure? For someone who claims to be a ruthless salesman, you look pretty happy to hear about your rival's return. Th that's ridiculous. He'll be out of business again in a week, I'll bet. If he does manage to cut it somehow, a competitor might help me stay on my toes. I'll say this, my wares and my service will both be better than ever. <laughs> I certainly hope so. Don't let me down now. hypothesis that a vanished labyrinth lies somewhere in this world. But the name itself would imply that it does not, wouldn't you say? You say the wildlands is full of heretics and loonies. Hmm. Hey, little miss up and coming. I'm off to look for cruxes on Adonis's orders, of course. I've got a knack for finding cruxes. If you're stuck for one, let me know. Though I won't hand them over for free, of course. Thanks for the if you don't have any finding the key, but if you want to keep Thanks for the big days. Thanks for the big days. Thanks for the big days, so you can Thanks for the big days. So Thanks for the days. If you change your mind. So, which. Come again. Are you looking for a night? Nice... Haha. <laughs> 
You're always welcome. We'll be looking forward to your next visit. <sighs> Damn it. It was all my fault. I know you. You're that new band that everyone's talking about, aren't you? Well, I don't listen to rumors. Ooh, look at Little Miss Antisocial. Well, I'm Jameis, former bandit. Former? Sure, now I'm just a useless sponge soaked in booze. I drink a whole ocean of chaos if it drown my sorrows. I've been away from the desert for a while now, but I came right back when I heard about you, girly. <laughs> and what do I have to do with anything? Sit back and let me tell you the tale about my days as a greedy bandit. I'd do anything. I'd pick a ruin clean and then go right back out for more. Even someone like me had a family. We may not have been related by blood, but my kids loved me like I was the greatest. But 156 years ago, on a day I can't forget, a day I don't want to remember! Then don't. No one's asking you to. Hold on, please. I've come all this way. At least hear me out. That day I had taken the kids with me to the ruins. It was just a regular day of exploration. Until those damn skeletons appeared. There wasn't time to get the kids away. The only ones who survived. Was you. So you've been blaming yourself? And plotting your vengeance? Is that it? <laughs> you overestimate a drunk like me. You think a washed-up loser like me has the guts to seek vengeance? I just turned tail and ran away, straight into a bottle. All I could do was hate those skeletons from afar. Yet you came back to the desert now. All because you heard about me joining the gang? I did. You managed to open the seals that no one else has been able to do a thing about. When I heard that, I knew that if anyone could help me, it was you. So I came back. I've got to ask you a favor. I know you don't owe me a thing, but you're the only one I can ask. I'll get down and beg you. Just please. Please, destroy every last one of those skeleton bastards. Wipe them off the face of the world. I'll never rest easy until I know that they're gone. You couldn't save the children, but you think this might help. I know it's too much to ask a stranger. I can't give you much in return, but... Never mind that. It won't be easy, though. You'd better be ready for a wait. I'll repay you somehow for this. I'll wait however long it takes. It'll be nothing compared to the past 156 years. You think I should just use that warp machine to get to the ruins? It won't suck out my soul or nothing, right? For myself, I'd really like to uncover some treasure that no one's ever seen before. More and more new bandits are crawling out of the woodwork. Maybe I ought to give them a good scare. Wait till the fools get drunk, then relieve them of their fines. That's what I call treasure hunting. Everyone. Spend a little time. I like it. Go on! See you! Masters of the Sky Desert. Have a look! Thank you very much. I've got to run a tight ship until the boss... I left all my gear in the desert. Get over here, all you scum in the...
the Monoculus gang, use this warp machine and do some adventuring. Time to raise the curtains. valuable treasure.
Your souls are in plunder. I'm no thief. Your escape just now cost you an hour here in the world. <laughs> Too bad this will end tragically. evil. Time to repent. I'm no thief. Time to repent.
is defeated. Your soul is my plunder. Evil has a price. You can be forgiven. It's just a fleeting dream.
Fancy meeting you? Is the savior a demon or a god? The folks of this here. My father is. Do you think there's. The revenge you always wanted is complete. I destroyed every last one of the skeletons that got your kids. You did it! You got revenge for me! Thank you! I knew you were the right person to ask. Do you feel better now? Yes. 
I suppose I do. But it's still not the same as having my kids back with me. That's the way revenge goes. Yeah, you're probably right. But at least it saved me from pickling myself to death. You're done grieving? I'll never stop grieving. But I feel like I can face the grief head on now. I don't want to be living in a bottle when the world ends. I'm gonna go visit their grave and tell my kids about this. I can't do much more to thank you, but at least take this. Isn't this the kind of magnifying glass that appraisers use? It looks like it's pretty worn. It does look rather old, but it seems like it's been taken good care of. Maybe this is the instrument that Elmer was talking about. Don't tell me you actually found something. Is this it? What you threw away? Uh, how did you... Tad's loop? Dad? Never mind that. Just give it back to me. Now! You want it back? Who was it that told me I was welcome to whatever I could find? I'm not sure I want to give it up. <sighs> Fine. I'll talk if I have to. My dad was a great bandit, okay? But he was also a great appraiser. He spent his whole life studying the relics in these ruins. So he wanted you to follow in his footsteps? No, it wasn't like that. Not at all. He taught me everything he knew so that I could become a scholar. He wanted me to be able to unravel the mysteries of the past. But then he disappeared, never made it home. No one ever found any clue as to what happened. He left me and took my only chance at becoming a scholar with him. Didn't have much choice. I could appraise or starve. Is that why you threw away his tools? In order to spite your father? It was stupid. I was stupid. 
I should have just done what my dad wanted and kept working to be a real scholar. But he's gone, and it's too late now. This world is nearly done for. But if I'm ever reborn, I promise I'll take things a bit more seriously. I'll give it my all. I'll study hard, and I'll become a great scholar and solve all kinds of mysteries. Or maybe that's too much to ask for. You should dream big, and the first step to making your dream come true is believing it can come true. Thank you very much. Well, I... You can't push yourself to... How long you want to take... You that rules over all life. Yggdrasil. Well, it's that time again.
What do you think Fang is going to do now? Will she try to break into the Order's Cathedral and stop the ceremony? Listen, when the final day arrives, Fang is going to try to save Vanil. I'm sure of it. And what about you? Will you try to stop Vanille? Stop the Soul Song? You know it's God's will that it takes place. Have you forgotten he's holding my sister hostage? The promise of her return, anyway. I've got to do what he wants, or else... Interesting answer. Some people might take that to mean, if it wasn't for the threat, you would consider defying him. Some people might? What about you? Do you trust me? Of course I trust you. I'm sorry, Light. I didn't mean to sound like I don't. I'll always be on your side, even if you do decide to turn against God. You know that. Thank you. 